one, go. That's where I usually start the timer. Okay. So I never really intended on uh, speedrunning this game or bringing it to a marathon. Um, but I mean, it's such a great game and why wouldn't you want to play it over and over again? <laughs> so. Um, so Thanks to Goof for being great. We have regained a quarter of an hour on the schedule. There are uh, a few sequence breaks in this game. I'd like to say maybe one or two more noticeable ones in each chapter. Um, they don't save a huge amount of time, but it's all meaningful to the run. Um, the main part of the game is just kind of monitoring and uh, sort of rooting your use of your scarf, which will give you jumps and boosts, which increase uh, your speed. Guys, if you um, chirp at them, they'll give you a boost like that. And all hidden symbols run, which means I pick up all of these little guys uh, in all of the chapters. I much prefer this category to the more typical any percent, uh, whereas, except uh, currently, this is the any percent run. <laughs> um, having a long scarf is just that useful. There are some. Uh, tricky sequence breaks you can do uh, you can't do if you're missing just one or two uh, sections of scarf up to the part you need them
Uh, the cutscene you just saw is pretty much the uh, largest, like, sole way of um, communicating the, sort, the story in an easy way. Um, and I'll be going through all of those, so <laughs> you're not missing anything. There's a pretty cool trick here where if you can catch the uh, sand unit just the right place at the angle, it's not hard to get, but uh, and the wind should let me slide. There you go. Without this, I'd have to walk this di distance, and I'll. Uh, so that's pretty helpful. In this uh, this chapter, this area, you want to uh, you have to activate these uh, uh, cloth things to um, open up use of a bridge, as you can see on the top left there. Uh, you can do this without. Okay, nice. You can do that without completing the bridge. Uh, which is really nice. Okay. And it can be a little tricky sometimes, just depending on where I use my chirp for these guys. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. For the most part, that just skips a uh, couple of cutscenes. No fighting, it's just it's just about the platforming really. It's actually going to be pretty useful to hold on to my scarf for now. Um, in the past, I've just burned it because I felt like um, you, you'd have to use it to cross the ground anyway. And I, I didn't really know of a useful place to 
use it as far as crossing gaps is concerned. But uh, we found a very little gap <laughs> to save a few frames. Um, in a true any percent run, I would imagine you'd probably pick up all of the sim hidden symbols except for the ones in this area. Uh, simply because it's so so big, so wide, and you'll see the, the kind of uh, mission I go on to pick them all up. Also, the way the boost works in this in uh, this area for um, going up these dunes is really irritating. <laughs> I wish it would just boost you up there, but it tends to uh, give you this kind of sort of very stumpy hop. Um, so I opt out of using them to travel up uh, these dunes and rather use them to travel across uh, gaps. Oh yeah, there are also these uh, little guys you'll see around. Uh, they're pretty nice because they recharge my scarf whenever I'm in contact with them. Um, unfortunately for the current route it, in this area, you don't... Uh, uh, really get to get close to them And these, <laughs> these are the guys I was talking about. They're pretty cool. Okay, that was good. Ideally, you don't want to uh, pick up too many uh, of the tickets with the chirp because it'll send you higher than you want. OK. 
Okay, so... I want to save one... I think that's one boost left. Um, once you finish the game with all of the symbols, you unlock the white cloak. Uh, it's once you're uh, grounded, it'll recharge your scarf uh, automatically. So uh, it's helpful, helpful like that. But I, I haven't worked on a speed run with it, like a new game plus speed run, um, because I feel like it uh, takes away all of the kind of scarf. Uh, uh, I don't know, like scarf rooting and the momentum. This next uh, chapter is pretty good. I think this is the only area where it can really be a problem for the run if I miss any of the symbols. Because I would I would have to quit out the game to uh get them. And here has to be one of my favourite sequence breaks in the game. Okay, I'm doing math on safe stress there. When you pick up the symbols as well, uh, they sort of ex uh, keep you. Sorry, I'm very, I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, keep you level for a little bit of time and don't use up your boost. Um, so it allows me to have a little more scarf here to attempt the next sequence break. That should be good, okay.
Okay, time for another kind of cutscene skip. <laughs> if I just go sharp around here, yeah, then I don't have to go through the animation of uh, him standing at the top. Oh yeah, and this this game uses a six axis for its camera, which is pretty annoying. <laughs> but if you leave it at, uh, steady for an amount of time, it decides that's the neutral position, uh, and I can start using the right analog stick to move the camera. Just another one of the uh, small sequence breaks. Well, not sequence break, but uh, it's useful. Okay. The next part is pretty tricky. Okay, uh, maybe a little slow. Basically, I want to use enough scarf to get me over here. That's generally enough to let me get almost fully charged. So I'm going to walk here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay.
those are the bad guys. Okay, he is very difficult, or this one I find pretty hard. Okay, got it. With scarf to spare. There's also a co-op mode for this game, which uh, it, it connects with you, with you with other people using uh, PSN at a time uh, in your area, and it's kind of nice because you don't get to know who they are or know what they're doing <laughs> for a while. Their their um, PSN name only pops up pops up after you finish the game saying uh, here are all the guys you met on your journey um, it would be really cool to get a co-op speedrun because there are things you can do such as uh, infinite uh, jumping where you can chirp to ch uh, charge your co-op partner's scarf then they jump then they chirp for your scarf then you jump and just keep going like that until you get what you want done, done. But uh, the problem with that is there's no way of uh, directly connecting to anyone else. Um, so we'd have to uh, go enter the game and leave, enter the game and leave over and over again until we've worked out we're both in game. <laughs> so right now all we have is the single player speedrun. Why was he on the floor? <laughs> Uh, this chapter holds the uh, one sequence break that requires you have like the max amount of uh, boost and it's a pretty good one
leaving these okay leaving these uh platforms early skips uh, each cutscene <laughs> related to uh the glyph there This is where it can be a little difficult. Not quite this one, but uh, okay, you'll see. Okay, now where are my little guys? Okay. Cool. Okay, nice. <laughs> That skips the last um, glyph sequence. What's the time? Okay. This is kind of where the meterless speed run uh, ends because the next area is very long. Uh, it limits the use of your scarf heavily. Um, there are still some cool speedrunning tricks, but uh, it's just one chapter that takes up nearly half the run. So. <laughs> Uh, as far as runners for this game goes, we have maybe two or three people in, on SDA um, interested in running this, but uh, no one's particularly active on it. Uh, it's just kind of, uh, just like me, more of a enjoyable thing to be able to just sit down and play the game. I apologize that I don't remember the other two guys' names. <laughs>
should be able to just make it to this one. I may be a little slow. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, here's where it kind of gets funky. Let's see if I can get this right. We don't need our scarf anyway. Uh, there's not, not really any possible way to use it in this area. This next one is actually really tricky. Uh, may this ah jeez, uh, that's good. And, yeah. Usually I can get to the one in the uh, top left there, but only because it's so close every single time. Let's see. 
maybe too far on the left. Yeah. Normally I would be able to get straight through this uh, this arch. <laughs> I don't know, know if I already said, but I should probably make it clear that uh, the cold in this area depletes your scarf regardless of if you're uh, using it. So even with uh, the white cloak, I can't remember exactly, but it might just not charge at all. Which is why when I uh, get to areas offering uh, boost then I just use it. Get up there. Where are you going? Unfortunately, there are no pro strats for this bit. Just <laughs> hold forward, sit tight.
this is, area is pretty good. There's actually an out of bounds in this area, which is kind of weird. It's not conducive to anything, but so many people have just accidentally fallen out of bounds. Okay. Uh, that skips a uh, whole uh, sliding sequence. Just heading over the rocks there. Seriously, this game has awesome music. This is an awesome event. It's European Speedsters Assembly 2012. We have been racing since Thursday 3 p.m. A load of games in a ton of personal best times. Contra Sub 11. For charity, our awesome charity is Hand in Hand, who are doing an awesome job in trying to eliminate the not so awesome poverty in developing countries by creating income and jobs. If you want to help them reach their goal, which would make Can you be ready on the awesome, time? All you have to do is yep. donate to our chip in. <clears throat> there are numerous things you can donate for. Most notably, if we get another two hundred dollars uh, complete, well, you know, it's total to add up to two thousand five hundred altogether. Many people. May or four people will be cross-dressing. If you want me to join them, you will have to do that by 12.30 at the latest, otherwise I will be gone. And since this awesome run is ending, I shall now be awesomely quiet. <laughs> okay, done. Okay, nice. 